What's going on everyone? I want to go over some red flags while selling on the Amazon machine as a reseller or arbitrage person. So I'm looking at some brands and this one looks like it is solid, but uh, there are some red flags that you should be mindful of. For example, you could sell this, but uh, obviously they have some uh, uh, blurring of particular uh, company names and uh you know would be mindful because even though it does say a particular company name uh it's not actually the real brand and you can actually buy this on walmart for uh you know 15 dollars and if you put 15 60 you're making a insane roi you can see there's already 50 sales uh in the last 30 days and uh, people are selling it up to $42. So if you were to put $42 here and 80 cents, you're looking at almost a 100% ROI on your investment, which is not too bad. However, you could get your account uh, slapped because you uh, are selling the off brand or IP of a different company. So even though it does say um, Fujo, uh, I would be mindful of selling this product because you could get uh, in a, some trouble from IPs, uh, intellectual property. Another one uh, is be mindful of something like this. See, you can see that there is some nice, nice uh, selling of 50. You can, I'm open up to it. So you can uh, sell this, but you do have to be mindful that there is a two pack and if you look on the website, you can get it for $5.99, but the most you could sell it for, so if we do, uh, what was that, $12, you're gonna be negative by just buying it. You might think that's a one pack, but even though it says uh, a two pack, but some people just don't pay attention and they only send one and then they get shut down. Even though the money might be good with a 48% ROI, you definitely want to be mindful of certain things like that. If we shoot down a little bit further, you can see some of the hot sauces here. I was looking at this one, and right off the bat, if you don't have these kind of numbers, like uh, this tool, which I'll link in the description, but it does say uh, you know, what the brand is, how much you can get it for, and what the selling price is. And at $4.59, you, you're obviously making negative uh, money because this would need to be up to $8 to even break even, which is this amount. And your max cost would have to be negative $2.80. So right off the bat, like you're not gonna be profitable on this ever. So you need to be mindful of these certain things like uh, how much things are going for, what the cost of the Amazon fees are, what the highs and the lows are, as you can see in the buy box, and if Amazon's actually selling it, which they are at $4.59. So uh, it does say Amazon right here. So competing with Amazon is a, another uh, tough thing to do, especially because they buy so uh, at bulk massively, they buy out companies, and then they have all their product for super cheap. So as you can see, Amazon is just dominating the market uh, at the buy box for this. So again, be careful. Same thing with this one, Tabasco. Uh, if you can't get it, you, you can't even sell this because the fees from Amazon would just eat you alive and just cost. I mean, you can't, the fees that Amazon takes is like, what is it, $4 or $5? They take 8%. Um, and if you can't even make this plus shipping, you're losing money. So they take 8% of this, but the shipping cost would cost you $5. And again, you would be negative. So these are some of the things that I would definitely be mindful of. I like to browse around and uh, let me say like uh, hot sauce. And so if we pull up the hot sauces, uh, obviously I use Keepa for a lot of things, but some of these things like you can see what the prices are going for and if you could make some decent money. Definitely look at the, the how much volume is being sold in the last 30 days, 90 days, that sort of thing. You can say that hot sauces do go pretty well 
And if we can just apply to some of these, we might actually get approved. Um, what you also can do is like, for instance, I bought this hot sauce right here and I left a review video. So every time someone actually buys this hot sauce and watches my review video, I get a little bit of money. But you can just click on the approve and see if you get approved. A lot of these I probably won't, um, but we'll give it a go. Um, so this one obviously needs a transparency sticker. This one needs 10 units, which shouldn't be too bad. 10 units. So both both of these you could probably get approved pretty easily um, just by buying the, the, the actual hot sauce. I would say you would need it to make sure that you are actually um, seeing if you can get it wholesale, go into the website, uh, checking out the um, wholesale, I guess, uh, catalog and making sure that you have an LLC or something or, or a reseller's license um, so that you're able to get them at a discount um, because a lot of these are going to be more expensive um, like let's go back to that the one hot sauce right uh, right here if we go back here shit the bed uh, hot sauce right here if we go to here and we check out buns burners we can get it one and if we can get it for less than six dollars then we are uh solid so this is shit the bed worldwide uh shop now we can get it for uh 18 dollars which is insane um i guess there's a wait list for it um but if we can see if they have like a wholesaler so what i like to do is i like to see if they have a wholesaler by typing in this little command so if you guys stayed this long and then I'll give you my little secret. You type in colon and then the website name, boom, and then after wholesale. And we'll see if they actually have a wholesale. So um, it says turn your hot sauce, have it into cash and buy now. So it looks like these are uh, the collections. These are in all AUD, so probably interesting. Um, so nothing wholesale there, but $12 AUD, which is pretty cheap. And then turn your money into cash. Submit a photo showing the proof of purchase. So no wholesale, I guess, on this one. But uh, that's what I would do. So you can see if you can find a wholesale uh, supplier. And those are some of the red flags and some strategies to get some amazing products. That's it, guys. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.